Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 8.1 or 10 onto a flash drive. This is a full installation of Windows, not just the installer. This basically makes your drive act as a Windows to go drive, which you can look up if you're curious about what that is. Anyways, let's jump right in. First of all, you're going to need a Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 ISO. You can't use Windows 7 since Windows 7 doesn't fully support Windows to go. This causes problems as the drivers will only load for one computer and once you plug it into a different computer, you can't reuse it. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need to get a Windows 10 or 8.1 ISO. First, open up your web browser and open the website called Get Into PC. Just search it up on Google and it should be the first one you see. Here, you go to this, this search box and type in Windows 10. This will give you the Windows 10 ISO. You can install either the Home or Pro Edition, just have the product key. This is completely legal, but remember, you really need the product key. Just pick the edition you want, uh, and note not to get to the, the technical preview builds, get the full version, which is 10,240. Just click it, make sure you're downloading the right version, scroll down, and click your version to download. I'm downloading the 64-bit version. You will notice that it will actually very shortly ask you to save it. Just click save, and it will start downloading. Just remember that this is a very large file, so it will take a long time. There is another way to get the Windows 10 ISO though. You can go to the official Microsoft website and download it with the Windows Media Creation Tool. I honestly don't recommend it this way because it takes much longer, especially depending on how fast your hard drive is. I'll have this website's link in the description as well, but all you have to do is scroll down, download the tool of choice, depending on your version, it's a very small download. So if you want to use this tool, just open it, and it'll start to load. Once it gets to this screen, just click Create Installation Media for another PC, and click Next. Choose your language, English US, your edition, and your architecture. You just click next, you click ISO file, and click next. That's all you need to do. I'm not going to do that, since I'm just going to download it from that website, get into PC. I'm just going to quit it. Anyways, I'll see you when this is done. Okay, now that you have this ISO, we need one more program to get this finally going. Go back to your browser and go to this website. I'll have the link in the description. Scroll all the way down, click download. I find this program really easy to use and it's the fastest way to get going. Click the setup to launch, click yes to the prompt, select your language, click next, I accept, next, 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 if you want, you can create a desktop icon, next, and install. Now launch it. Close the tab that it opens. Now, go to your ISO file by clicking this Browse button. Select your file and click Open. If your ISO file has multiple operating systems listed here, select the one you want to install. Click Next when you have selected the one you want. For the destination disk, plug in your external flash drive or hard drive. I have a 500 gigabyte external hard drive. Click this and this to put both the system partition and the boot partition all on the same drive. You want it to install as a legacy drive? Click Next. 
Now it'll start installing it, and this is basically the final step. Just wait for this to finish. Note that it'll take longer to finish on USB 2.0 than over USB 3.0. But if you're going to run Windows on a flash drive, then you might as well run it on Windows 3.0 since USB 2.0 will be extremely slow. Okay, now all I have done is shut down the computer. Now, right when you turn it on, I'm going to need you to press a special key, either F2 or F12, or depending on your computer, to get to the bootloader. Mine is F12, so I'm going to turn it on and quickly press F12. Once you get to the bootloader, select USB storage device or something to that wording. Click enter. Now that I've booted off the external drive, just wait for it to load. Okay, now that you get to this screen, just select your country, your language, and select your time zone. I'm going to fix that right now. And click next. Click accept to the legal document. Now if you have a Wi-Fi network, select it from here. Enter the security key if you have one and click next. Now you can either click use express settings or you can customize it. I'm going to use express settings just for the purposes of this video. Now just wait. This whole entire process will take a while. And I'll see you guys when it's done. Now once you get to this screen, click I own it and click next. If you have a Microsoft account, sign in now. Or you can create one down here or you can skip this step. I'm going to skip it for the purposes of this video, and I'm going to click next. And we are done. We're finally at the desktop, and to prove it to you that this is a Windows to go workspace, I'm going to unplug this, show you what happens. The mouse will stop working and freeze on screen, and if you don't plug it back in in time, your entire workspace will crash. Now I'm going to plug it back in and the mouse works again. You will get this message. I'm just going to close this. Now just finish setting it up and customizing it and do whatever you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in my next one.